Welcome to this NX Health tip. In part four, we're going to look at tidal blocks. If you're using NX8 and above, you may have noticed if you create a new drawing using the Siemens templates, you'll get a populate tidal block dialog appearing. This dialog prompts you for information for the drawing. You can see in this example that the first issue, drawn by and checked by fields have been filled from the dialogue entries. With the Siemens templates, you'll find the title block can't be selected. This is because it has been placed on layer 256 and the layer has been made visible only. Change the layer to selectable and we can start editing the title block. By right clicking and selecting edit definition, we can see how the block has been created. We can see each cell corresponds to an entry in the list. You can lock the cells and also change their labels. Title blocks are created from tabular notes. By removing the table from the title block through deselection, I can edit the contents. Here I am changing the default text. The other thing I want to do is change the logo to my own. By swapping the tables around, I can access the cell with the image. Editing the cell and deleting the entry will remove the image. If I right click the cell, I can import an image. For the image to display correctly, it's important it's the right size for the cell. By increasing the cell size, I can now see the logo. If I reduce the cell back to the size to suit the title block, the image disappears. Rather than reformat the image, it's easier to just place the image on its own outside of a title block. It's easy to place and scale the image to suit this way. Move it to layer 256 and it can't be changed like the rest of the title block. Here's a title block that I've started to build. 
By using three tabular notes, I've merged cells and entered text to build it. I've also created links to the part material and mass as described in the earlier video. Now I need to position the last table. I can get it to align vertically with the base of the others. By using the annotation origin tool, I can then get the horizontal alignment. As I spoke about earlier, I want to use a company logo. So I can use insert image to insert scale and position a logo. I also need the projection symbol. You can use the attribute, but it won't scale to fit the size of the cell. In this example, I'm going to use a custom symbol and add it in. I can now move all the objects to layer 256, so I can then mark the layer as visible only. This stops any accidental modification. You can see the image I used as the basis for my new title block, which I can now delete. Now I need to create the title block by defining one and adding the three tables. I can now work my way through each cell and modify them. Locking a cell stops any changes being made to the entry. The cell label is the name that will appear when prompted to enter a value for an unlocked cell. Use a cell label that makes sense to a user entering the data. Any cell containing a reference to an attribute will be locked automatically.
Also remember that the cell labels need to be unique, as I've forgotten in this example. Once we apply, we now have a title block. By double clicking the title block, we can see that the populate dialog appears. You can see that only the unlocked cells are listed, along with the labels that I specified. Now to demonstrate how it works with an assembly. The warning I'm getting is because I have a material reference in the title block, but the assembly has no material specified. I can now enter values on the dialog for the title block. You can see no material entered, but there is an assembly mass. The drawing name and part name are picked up automatically. Also my entries on creation of the sheet are there now. If I do the same for a model, you can see I didn't get the warning this time. Now I get a material and a mass which is in the wrong units though. You can see the part attribute has the correct value, just the kilos designation is wrong. In this example, by removing the table from the title block, I can then edit the cell suffix to be grams. Then I edit the title block and add the table back. 